Taking part in the Olympic Games is every athlete's dream. And this informs the decision of the international sports governing bodies to recognize athletes who are featured at the competition seven times. The International Table Tennis Federation inducts Nigeria's Funke Oshonaike into the exclusive class of Olympians known as Club 7, following her participation at the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Oshanaike becomes the first women athlete in Africa and second Nigerian to be inducted into Club 7 after making that debut at the Atlanta 1996 Games. She joins compatriot Shegun Turiola, who got enlisted in Rio 2016 Olympics, and three others from Sweden, Croatia and Belgium on the exclusive class. And back home in Nigeria, mixed reactions have trolled her achievement with appeals to the administrations to groom replacements. I think it's a great one for her career, but a lot of people are saying it's time for her to bow out now, encourage the younger ones to qualify also. But the issue is that how many of them have beaten her in terms of the qualifiers? How many of them have come to say, OK, we have the quality to do better than what Funke Oshaneke has done over the years? Even in Africa, she's one of the best in, in the singles event for Africa. It shows that uh, we are doing something positive in Nigeria as regards to table tennis and um, I hope with their experience and such a fit they can also use that to mentor the upcoming ones because that is a critical thing. Being a member of the seventh club is not the end of the whole thing. You need to part back to those that are coming behind you. For us to have two persons in that club shows you that we are not doing badly in table tennis but I think it should be something that we should work on. Because the younger ones who look at the performance of Shegu Toriola and uh, Funke Oshonaike and be challenged. Despite its dominance in Africa, Nigeria's performance is still a far cry at the Olympic stage.